No. <laughs> <laughs> way, way too high? Um, yeah, the moment the red box is like there down. Am I out of the top of the frame? Yes. Okay, so now it, the red square is at the top of your head yeah. and down to about your mouth. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> So we are in Trowbridge. Um, I've just completely stolen Kim's setup for her little interview thing because this seems to work much better than my normal space at home. Uh, we are filming with Kim, Kim Netherton. She's nodding in the background. Um, who is, now tell me, your official? I'm a psychotherapeutic counsellor. She's a psychotherapeutic counsellor. And a trainee yoga teacher. And a trainee yoga teacher. She is developing a workshop which is aiming to sort of combine both parts of that, I guess. Is that about right? Yeah, I, I specialise in working with eating disorders and body image dysmorphia. Excellent. I'm hoping that picked up on that, should have picked up on the camera. In fact, I've also just realised this is going to be way too loud for when I'm talking, so let me just check that. <laughs> It's also talking about it as well, it's a bit body image disturbance, not disorder. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Trowbridge is uh, sort of where? Wiltshire. Wiltshire, yeah, it's Wiltshire, it's a Bath postcode, that's how I got here today. Had a lovely drive through Salisbury Plain past uh, Stonehenge, best trip I've ever actually had past Stonehenge. I think it must have just been, in fact it was a Sunday morning and a little bit foggy. Um, there was no slowing down at all, which was wonderful. And then we've got here, we've made a plan for what we're going to do for her shoot. Uh, we've actually just shot her introduction. Um, and then we're going to do a, a run through of her workshop. And so this film that I'm making for her is all about what she's actually, what she's going to be doing. This is going to allow her to show people because every time I've tried to explain what it is that she's doing, it makes sense in my mind, but it's quite a difficult thing to get across. I think it'd be maybe a difficult thing to put in text, but actually to see it is going to make a lot more sense. So that's what we're filming. She's particularly looking forward to stripping down to her underwear fairly shortly in what is a very, very cold um, aerial yoga, aerial acrobatic circus skills thing. So thank you very much to SAS. SAS. So SAS Circus Skills, who have let us use this room today, because it's an amazing space to be able to work in. So if you're near Trowbridge and you want to work on your circus skills, come along to SAS. So we, we've done the introduction, we've taken some yoga video, uh, some yoga photos. I don't want to hold this much longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's put down. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Oh, 
And then we're going to work on the workshop shortly, which I think is probably going to be quite an emotional and um, spiritual sort of journey. So I'll try and take it as seriously as it deserves. But you're going to giggle all the way through it, so it's fine. So I'm going to take it seriously and try and make sure it's a spiritual, meaningful experience for me. Kim is just going to giggle the whole way through, so it'll be fine. It'll be fun. So let's get some filming done. Our bodies tell a story. They keep records inside every cell about the journey that we've been on. They hold our scars, the marks that are made in our body, the babies we have carried, everything we have ever been through or experienced has been through the vehicle of our body. And sometimes the story we tell ourselves about, about that and about the journey that we have been on are kind of unkind. And Sometimes we need opportunities to revisit those stories, to shed new light on them, to find love and compassion in the way that we access that and the way that we tell the stories of our body and the stories that we tell about our body. is incredibly empowering. The idea is that we can step forward more in honour of our body, in honour of our own sovereignty, with more power we can step forward into our lives gloriously in full technicolour in whatever shape and colour and design that we want to because we're, we are making our own marks, we are taking up as much of our own space as we want to, all of the space if we want to, because we deserve to take up space. more of a sense of, of their own body, of their own sovereignty, of their power going forwards into their lives. It's a very sensory experience, both for the, for the hands, for the body, for the heart. We are really getting in touch with what it means for us to step forward gloriously into our lives. So at the end we take an opportunity to rest, to come home to our bodies, to recognise them as the one home that we, that we have. We assimilate everything that we have learned, we recognise that we have moved deliciously, gloriously in the bodies that we have. We have celebrated them, we've honoured them and now it's really important to just take time to, to rest. When I was doing it, I was thinking actually about um, ho up and no, no, ho up and up and no, no up and up and no, ho up and up and no. So that the the four phrases of um, I'm sorry, forgive me, I love you, thank you. So okay. kind of having that conversation with my with my own body. Okay. And now you just have to get clean in a bucket of water. And now I just have to get clean in a bucket of water, yeah. which. Going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you frozen? Yeah, I am very cold though. So yeah, this is the challenge of. I've never done this before. I've never done mirror vlogging before. Uh, this is the challenge of then doing a, a paint-based thing in a shop workshop that has no showers. I couldn't think of a word. Um, but yeah, we're all we're all sorted out now. So basically, Kim, you did absolutely brilliantly. 
You're in the video now, you see. I'm pointing oh, at you, yeah. Yeah, just in, in the reflection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just still looking at me. Oh, I'm uh, looking yeah. there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so yes, Kim did brilliantly. And we're now just gonna clean up and tidy up and get everything sorted out. Uh, she's now just stood in a bucket. Beautiful bucket. <laughs> what a bucket. She's so rude, she's so rude. Um, so yeah, so that's all the filming done. Um, I'm gonna head home fairly shortly, I think. Do you know, this is much harder to do than I thought it was going to be. No, it definitely wasn't framed on me at all there. I am now. I might just film this later, because this is going all horribly wrong. And I can <laughs> you see can hear Kim. The, hear the yeah. sound of, <laughs> hear the sound of water. Of, yeah. Kim just trying to get clean, so I think I'm just going to film this properly later on. So how, how was that, being on camera? It was really fun. Thank you for making me feel so comfortable and for bossing me around, because I do need that. <laughs> I never bossed you around. I never did that at all. You did. You were quite rude. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but, but in the right way. In absolutely, in the perfect way. Perfect. Which stopped me from feeling nervous. Good. Thank you. Right, so back in the van now. I tried and failed to record my outro. Just realised I've left my GoPro filming all the time. Actually, it's not too bad. It's just recorded a 19 minute time lapse of me just sat. Excellent, so that's us done. I tried to film an outro into the mirror, but realized that actually trying to hold the camera in the right place and film while in the mirror, a little bit of a challenge. It's a shame, because it would have been quite a cool shot if I'd just been able to concentrate on it, but it was also then having two other people around me. Just threw me off a little bit. But no, that was fantastic fun. It was an amazing experience, being able to see what it is that Kim does and how important her message is about the body, about the self, about the journey, about our history. I know it's quite a different sort of vlog than I've done before, but it is, this is what I do. So, bye bye. I don't know why I said bye bye, they can't hear me from the car next to me. Yeah, this is, this is what I do. I am a videographer and photographer, and so this was one of my projects. And this was quite a different project for me. And it was quite interesting how it tied in with what Kim was talking about, where I, what am I trying to say? It's really important that you actually learn to push the boundaries. What she's asking for people to do when they go to this sort of workshop is asking people to actually be comfortable in a body that they may not necessarily feel comfortable in every single day. And if not feel comfortable, at least acknowledge it. And with jobs like this, this is not everyday job. This is quite an unusual job for me. I do a lot of fitness and yoga and well-being videography, but this was quite a different and quite a personal video to do. Uh, and I did find there was some really interesting things. I realized about three quarters of the way through filming that I hadn't ever stepped on her canvas. So she had her canvas laid out for her to paint on and move on. And I realized that actually at no point had I touched it. And it was only when I realized that, I realized it had been a sort of subconscious, that's her space. And I didn't want to invade her space. And it's quite interesting just the way that you find yourself getting into these mindsets. Also realized how heavy that Ronin is. I love that Ronin. But when you've been filming on it for an hour, it becomes quite tiring. Um, so I'm going to put together a video for her for the workshop itself. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you stuck to the end, thank you very much. I realize it's a bit unusual for my normal sort of content. Every so often there will be videos like this, so I hope it doesn't convince you to unsubscribe. But if you did like it and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you'd like to like the video, please like the video. How many likes can I say in five seconds? And again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Um.